first of all, I like his nature because he was always clean. That's Describe the, character the kind of first. guy I like say, around I like here. Him. Set it up. What can I say? I mean, he's a... He, Who's okay. he? There's like five men in the movie. Oh, what's well, his three. name? Um, the main one, Nick, Nicholas Gates. What's his name? Uh, Roy. Uh, Roy. They always Roy. say it about 70 times. In the yeah. Movie. Roy. Uh, he's such a character, you know? Uh, he's always... You know, try to get money, can people, uh, teaching supposedly his daughter, you know, and he always losing, you know. He, he, I'm not calling him a loser, he always loses the game, you know, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Well, he almost got cut, he, the money, he, was, he never had money, you know. Yeah, I mean, he cons people successfully, right. so, but he's always troubled. He's always has, exactly. Yeah, he's he was always, always trouble, trouble, him. trouble, trouble. He tried he's to teach lonely. the girl. Yeah. Very lonely, very alone. He always tried to con people and get their money, but in the end, he didn't have anything. You know, mm -hmm. um, but and then he wants to change for his girl, for his little girl. You know, it's thinking it was his daughter. On the other hand, she was a spy. Uh, but he loved her. And I think she did too. In the end, she called him dad. She loved him too. And he loved her. He wanted to help her so much so she didn't go to jail, you know. But how the world is small. I mean, he was a uh, w w uh, working selling c carpets, mm -hmm. rugs, whatever. And the world is so small. It's at small. the end of the movie. At the end of the that. movie, yeah. yeah. He changed. He didn't want to be a con nurse anymore. He didn't want to be troubled anymore. Mm -hmm. He just want different life. And who who walks in? The girl. Yeah. His daughter, supposedly. I mean, you know, it wasn't his daughter. And in the I mean, I think they have a connection. You know, Roy and Angela, they have a connection. They both loved each other like a father and a daughter. And in the end, after they say goodbyes and everything, his wife he was pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I... But did you notice who the woman was at the end? No, who was? I knew you would. I knew you were m made the mistake. Who do you think she was? I don't know. I think it's his wife. Who it was? Now you... Okay, who? Who was the only woman that Roy talked to during the movie? Well, I, I, I assume it was his wife. What do you mean his wife? He wasn't married. Oh, the movie. Uh, who was his girlfriend? Yeah. Like any, the most minimal subtext is all lost on you. Okay. Remember at the grocery store? Yeah. What did Roy do in the grocery store? I don't remember. A few times in the movie. You just saw the movie 10 minutes ago. He was stealing food. No, I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I'll explain it because you clearly okay. you were falling asleep even though no, you were I, watching at 11 in the morning. <laughs> it's noon right now. Yes, you were falling asleep. <laughs> There, there was a woman, a cashier, working at the grocery store, yeah. and Roy kept going to her and buying stuff from her, and over the course of the movie, he sort of started being more open to her as he was getting closer to Angela. Like, he started feeling more confident oh. to where he could talk to her. Then at the end of the movie, he goes to the grocery store, somebody else is working there. He comes home, the, the woman working at the grocery store is home with him, and she's pregnant. Okay, now I missed that part. You missed the whole movie? What do you no, mean I you didn't miss, miss that the whole part? movie. What do you mean that Who part? Who got her pregnant? She was there in Roy's home preparing food with him. They were clearly together. Oh, okay, that was Roy's child then. What That's what Someone else got her pregnant? Then I she don't went, know. moved in with Roy? Okay, the thing is, in the end, he gained a child and, and a daughter who even though, I don't know, Angela left, they have the connection and who knows what happened after that. Well, he said, 
I see things differently now. Yeah. She asked, are you mad? And he said, I didn't get, you didn't take it from me. Right. I gave it to you. Right. You, I see things differently. He, that was, he changed. He wants to have an honest life now. Yeah, he's not, yeah. Oh. not willing to con people anymore. My God. M make it, who made the movie? Ridley Scott, British director. Jesus. And what did you think of the performances? Oh, oh my God. I think it was, I think, I think it's very well made movie. Uh, the performances is excellent. Yeah, get into it a little bit. Explain the performances the is excellent. I mean, uh, the acting, it was just, uh, I mean, you know, you gave him a hundred plus. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you say about Roy, which is, I mean, we're talking about Nicholas Gates now, come on. And everybody else, they were perfect, you know. I'm going to say perfect, but it's the best. They, they put their best up there. You know? There was something kind of old-fashioned about the movie, too. It was made in 2003, and yet it felt like a classic in the way, the way it was shot. Even oh. though it was shot mostly in houses. Um, yeah, I was going to say that some movies I saw... Lots the, of sunlight coming through the windows. I saw, I saw some movies in the 70s when I was a kid. And I really... Yeah, it reminded me old times. Yeah, this is a That's small character say that. movie. Yeah. But it looked great. It's not yeah. like the movies today. You have science fiction. Bing, 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 mm -hmm. bang. There it's like computer kind of... Yeah adding up thing that's uh, like in the old times even the way you know? they shot Roy's house right. it looked incredible like nobody else would have shot it like Ridley Scott did with the at night the pool creating the blue light sh coming into the house you know mm. and it was just funny seeing Roy try and get used to having a daughter and at first he didn't like it and right. like he was very uncomfortable yeah he said go get out of here yeah. remember he was pushing her away mm -hmm. but little by little she drew his attention you know yeah, and even did, though yeah. he didn't know she was a spy but he loved her she did too yeah. and what did you think when you finally saw that it was all a con on him at the end he thought he was conning Chuck for shit but then they were all conning him for everything yeah Oh, that was kind of um, some kind of betrayal, <laughs> something you know, traitor, mm -hmm. some kind of a thing. But he, you know, in on the other hand, he deserved it. You know what I'm saying? Because they have to track him down. Yeah, in a way, this is his whole life is coming back on him. In a way, yeah. But in the end, he's a winner. You know? Yeah. Because he. She turned his life around. He had a family. He had a okay, honest job. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not as exciting, but not exciting. I mean, selling rugs. <laughs> Good God, selling carpets is just a bore. Yeah, <laughs> thing, but. Um, but now he's the way he was for. before. I can't believe you didn't understand. Well, no, you, I can't believe you didn't understand. The woman at the grocery store, the gro the yeah. cashier, woman, he kept, you know, as the movie went on, he talked to her, oh. they kept showing her. I can't believe you didn't get that by the end, that was her, the same woman, that it showed no, that I didn't. Roy okay. started to finally open up. He made mm -hmm. a connection to someone else, and he's sort of responsible for his life now, even though at the end. When he puts his head by your stomach, his eye twitches once. So you see, he's still got those kind of ticks. Yeah. Uh, the whole movie, he's twitching up and twitching out, and he's freaking out. Well, yeah, stuff. because he tried. The only life he knew, he was cunning people. Yeah, and cleaning and, his house. And, and cleaning his <laughs> house. Well, I like to have somebody around <laughs> here like that. Uh, <laughs> that's the only life he knew, and it was normal to him. And when he went back to it, it was something new for him. Mm -hmm. And you know, on 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 you whatever it is from bad to good you go back to it even though it's the normal thing to do and it's the right thing to do it's kind of scary little bit yeah you know and you say well i'm gonna make it or what you know and by the end the con on him changed the whole story in a way you think it's, it's he's conning someone else that's the plot when he cons them it's done right it's and like addiction end, yeah you know, if somebody who's drinking, I have respect for that, you know, and they go back to, you know, mm -hmm. not drinking or not smoking or not eating, whatever it is, you freaking out a little bit. What did you think it, of how Roy, how, how obsessive he was and how he's always scared of germs? And, uh, that like is he amazing. Tells, he always tells his friend Frank, take off your shoes. Let me tell you something. That is the best part for me. Yeah. I Why? love that. Ah, uh, because I have the same thing. I don't want to, 
Yeet! You know, you take your shoes out. But to, for take him, his it was shoes almost out. ruining his life yeah. in a way because he couldn't accept. It was just people. too much because yeah. when the guests come here, I don't want them to mm -hmm. take uh, their shoes off. Come on, something. Yeah. But he was, but like was a bit, yeah, obsession. Up. Yes, that was some kind of deficit he had. Some yeah. kind of impulse. It was an obsession with him. Yeah. Uh, and he was always but, twitching and remember whenever he opened the door he had to count to three yeah when he opened the door you remember that yeah and no, take you your shoes off that. yes i do and take your shoes i told him take your shoes mm -hmm. off yeah that was um that was something so overall just what did you think a whole movie like what was the experience for you watching it like was it fun was it exciting it, it, was it different okay it was a lot of fun. It was is exciting for me, and you know why? Because it's like old time movie. It's kind of classical, mm -hmm. classic yeah. movie, and this is the movies I grew up with. You know, uh, without the computer, yeah. without the zoom, 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 zoom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was all about the characters and how right, they interacted. It right. was a small character movie, like a and, 70s and, movie. And, it gives, and you understand it, you know what I'm saying? You get to the point. Now, with some of those fast movies, I miss 70% of it, you know, because mm -hmm. I can't capture it, I can't get it. But this has a juice in it. This juicy movie gives you. Uh, some taste back, some not, uh, you know, uh, you understand it and... Uh, well, what did you, you think, what were you think, feeling, watching it as it was going on? Like, were you trying to figure out what's going to happen next? Or are you excited, and wondering, was, like, what is this? It was kind of anxiety, I had mm -hmm. severe anxiety. You know what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. oh, what's going to happen? Oh, you know, um, it, it, it was, um, keep you uh, kind of alert and try to capture everything although I miss a couple of things but if I see it for a second time I will appreciate it more you know but it was yeah it's uh, excitement there and you've seen this movie before can you believe that did you, I see you don't that I remember it I know did I see that no yes, I don't you have when in like 2009 or something oh for god's sakes that was ancient history How did I say I don't remember it oh, I know no. Mm -mm. You did. Did I see that? Yeah. So would you recommend Matchstick Men? Absolutely. Would you watch it again? Uh, yes. I watch it again. Mm -hmm. No doubt in my mind. What was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, my favorite part of the movie, it was on she shot the guy mm -hmm. and he want to help her so bad he didn't care what happened to him. Mm -hmm. He, re he didn't really care what happened to him. Yeah, for once in the movie, he was trying to yeah. be responsible. To be responsible. I, 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 like I said, he didn't care what happened and to him. Not only the movie has the con story, but it's fun. It's got I, humor. I, I it looks think, great. The yeah, way the light that I uh, think, comes through the window. There's so much in the uh, movie is shot with daylight interiors. Right. I think that's how they connected. Mm -hmm. Although in the before, too, but... You know. But they were waiting. See, the way the con was going on Frank or on Roy, I mean, I think uh, Angela and Frank, they were waiting to see how much they could get Roy for because they didn't know if he would believe that was his daughter. Like, they first put him with the psychiatrist. The psychiatrist had to find out he may have had a daughter. Then they got the girl to play the daughter. And I think they were, she was researching him and trying to find out, well, how much does he have? What can we get him for? So, yeah, the whole time she didn't know what he would be like. Maybe it wasn't going to work out at all. But then as they kept going along, on along, she got closer to him and found out he was capable of being a lot nicer. But then he trusted her so much that she was able to ultimately take pretty much everything from him. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just awesome. It has excitement and mm -hmm. character and it has meaning to, you know, as... Yeah, I, I don't mind to watch it again. And this movie isn't that popular, really, but I think it's a very overlooked classic. Like, especially mm -hmm. Ridley Scott, he's a famous director. He directed mm -hmm. Gla mm -hmm. Gladiator, Alien, oh, really? G.I. Jane, um, Blade Runner, Thelma and Louise, all these famous movies. But this one, people don't recognize this one. I think this is easily one of his best movies. To me, it's probably his best. Because there's so much going on. There's, like, several different stories going through the movie.
you know, and the way he usually does these big, huge stories, and this one is so small, but he makes it big in a yeah. way. I don't mind to watch it again.